So the developments in science that I'm most excited about at the moment is the search for dark matter. Now the Large Hadron Collider is switched off at the moment while they're upgrading it to double the energy. So we're relying on these deep underground mines that have these basically volumes of very very sort of unsensitive material that are waiting for particles of dark matter to pass through them and create tiny little signals. Now dark matter makes up some 26% or so bit more, bit less, of the universe that we just don't know exists. So we're hoping that one of these things that is flying for us, apparently all the time, knocks into these one of these underground detectors. So I'm really excited at the moment about the developments happening in, in something called exoplanets. It's just searching for planets beyond our own sun. And so normally when we talk about planets, they all orbit around the sun in the same way that the Earth does. But um, Technology is developed to the point where we can now actually search for planets around other stars. And of course that's all just the beginning of, of the search for life out there in the universe. I am really excited about a development we're seeing at the moment in, uh, well, prime numbers in mathematics. And you think primes, we've known about those for thousands of years. For thousands of years we've known there's an infinite number of primes. There's always a bigger prime. But what we don't know is that there's always a bigger set of twin primes and twin primes are primes that are two apart. So like 29 and 31 are both prime and they're only two apart. And we've found a lot of these, but we can't guarantee there's always another one. There may be a bigger set of twin primes. And this has been an open question for a very long time. Just this year, someone has managed to prove that there's an infinite number of primes, while they're not, they're not twin, they're not two apart, they're within 70 million apart, which yes, is a very big number, but importantly, it is finite. All we need to do now is to gradually ratchet down 70 million to be about two, and we will have managed to prove the twin prime conjecture. And that gets me very excited. In one way, one of the things that does particularly excite me is the fact that, you know, the human genome was mapped and there was a feeling that maybe we were going to understand so much more after that happened. And I think one of the most exciting things is yet again discovering that it's not going to be, when I say as simple as we imagine, that once we've made this enormous leap of managing to uh, map genomes uh, and then going, ah, this doesn't answer as many questions as we'd imagined. Now we need to kind of find new ways of thinking, and that to me is always exciting. The field that I think I'm most excited about uh, in science is probably genomics. So it's one stage further than genetics. Genetics was all about, um, and is still all about, understanding um, what makes you you, kind of unravelling your genome. Uh, but genomics is taking that one stage further. It's actually developing personal medicine and personal cures um, for your particular genome and I think that's really really interesting that and probably epigenetics which is all about how you can actually change the way that your genetic code is is represented um, that I think is going to be really really exciting in the next few years.